Oh, hello there! Anime. It's a thing people tend to relate to as an oversaturated, long-running, Dragon Ball Z type show. But the truth is, anime goes so much deeper than that. And while I've never been the biggest fan of anime, specifically anime TV shows, although I do enjoy a couple like My Hero Academia, films made by Japanese creators are some of my favorite movies of all time. Especially Studio Ghibli. But we're not talking about that. People tend to look at animation as a genre for kids. Stupid shows or movies you turn on when you're tired because you don't want your kids to bother you. But honestly, that's just wrong. And especially in the case of anime, it goes beyond the typical shogun we see in most pop culture. And well, I wanted to spread some love to his films that I otherwise would probably not talk about on the channel. And who knows? I may even cover some of these films in depth later. So today, we're taking a look at three Japanese animated films. Specifically, three films I've seen recently, that means within the past year, that were really amazing and touched me. They explored the genre of film in an incredible way and were overall fantastic. Those films are Ride Your Wave, Perfect Blue, and Weathering With You. Today, I'll be going de deep into those three films, why I picked them, why I enjoyed them, and why they're really great films. Ready? Let's go! To start this 3-in-1 video, I wanted to look at Ride Your Wave. The film was released in 2019 and follows the story of two young adults in love, a surfer and a firefighter who are just cute to watch together, honestly. It's a really nice and adorable film. We see the two fall in love and bond and go surfing, and overall, it's great. Well, that is about till a third of the way in when, you know, they all die. Well, okay, bit of an exaggeration. The firefighter, Minato, dies from drowning after trying to save someone. Now, animated deaths are, well, pretty shocking, mainly because, like I said, animated media tends to be towards kids. But, in all seriousness, it's a real shock. The pure surprise that it brings really, well, it was shocking. And though the film continues as a light-hearted romance, the fact it does something so dark, especially in the first third of the film, is just astonishing. It hits you in the gut with how brutal it is, taking the otherwise light-hearted film and twisting it into a sad, depressing piece. From there, the film does, like I said, continue as a light-hearted, fun film. However, it still remains as a really, for lack of a better term, outright depressing film. While not being a sad movie, the way it expresses itself is still a tearjerker, and, well, it's great. From there, we follow our main character, Hineko, and I'm probably butchering these names, but whatever. And we follow her as she deals with the grief and eventual magical events that occur from there. Overall, while a very pleasant and upbeat, enjoyable film, it's also sad. It brings out feelings that make you relate and understand with the characters, and it's really beautiful. It's a love story that also adds a lot of vivid imagery in a story that really connects to you. It's sad, it's amazing, and I suggest you guys watch this film. I'm not usually one to do this. I try to make videos that are for teenagers and above, but content warning, this one time. Skip to this time if you don't feel comfortable with more sensitive topics. Perfect Blue is an adult film, and I, I would not advise younger audiences to watch. Wait until you can handle mature themes in, in imagery. That being said, this film is fantastic. It's a psychological thriller about a pop star turned actress dealing with murder and hallucinations. It's a film that delves into the fractured mind of our protagonist, Nima, and how she deals with the issues at hand. It's a film I never expected to watch. Honestly, I wouldn't classify myself as a horror fan. I get scared easily. Coraline, the stop motion film terrified me, still terrifies me. And Five Nights at Freddy's, the original games, those gave me nightmares. And while this isn't a horror film, it is obviously within the world of scares and terrors. But what really makes this film good, and why it's here and I'm talking about it, is the way it tells its story. Perfect Blue never makes it quite clear what's true even repeating scenes to you with just slightly changed dialogue to make you unsure of what's real and what isn't. 
what's in our character our protagonist's head what's real are the murders real are the murders in her head is she doing the murders it quite literally twists your view of reality and overall is a terrifying yet engaging watch i enjoyed it because of those facts the way it holds no punches it can give you a really cool chase scene and bloody scenes that make you afraid while watching yeah it's it's really cool psychological horrors and psychological thrills are psychological for a reason they delve into the head of our protagonist, making things appear real that are false, and false things appear real. Overall, Perfect Blue is one of my, if not my favorite, psychological just film in general. Unlike Last Night in Soho, which is also great, the thing Perfect Blue does amazingly is really twisting your view of reality during the film. Perfect Blue is honestly one of my favorite films ever, and this introduced me to one of my new favorite genres. Finally, we have Weathering With You, and out of the three films I'll be discussing today, this one is my favorite of them. Sure, Ride Your Wave is really heartfelt and is probably the mo most emotional of the three films, and Perfect Blue is just such a great thriller that really delves into the mind of characters. But Weathering With You? It's just a masterpiece in my opinion. Now it's not perfect! I, I wouldn't even say my favorite film, Age of Ultron, is perfect. No film is perfect. You can always find something in a film that could have been better in hindsight. But this is probably as close to perfect as a film could get, at least to me. It's something that really hits home, even though it's, ironically, about a character running away from home. Of the three films on this list, this one is by far my favorite. Now again, all three of these movies are fantastic and I highly recommend all of them to you. But out of all of them, Wuthering With You spoke to me the most. It connected me more than most films do. Whereas films like Iron Man 3 or Kiki's Delivery Service or Nightcrawler, they're all incredibly enjoyable and entertaining, I don't necessarily connect with the story they provide on a very deep level. Sure, I connect with them and they're entertaining, but when it comes to Wuthering With You, this film really hits home with me. While not being complex or filled with big stakes, it still manages to tell a story that has real meaning. And now I'm sounding like one of those film snobs, don't I? Oh, Marvel movies aren't real movies- oh, shut up. But anyway, this movie really tells its story in an interesting, complex, and great way that's just so engaging and visually appealing that I, I can't help but love it. And while I may not be the best person to judge a film, I mean, just look at my letterbox lists. <laughs> Uh, I have some weird opinions. I can safely say this movie is amazing. Or at least to me, it's amazing to me. It speaks to me. It's one of those films that really connects to me on a deeper level than just, oh cool, giant sky beam goes burr. So that's my feelings on three amazing anime films. I didn't go super in depth because I don't want to spoil much of it. I want you guys to experience these films. But I'm also wanting to cover a wider variety of film and show media on this channel. I'll probably do another Over the, Gar Over the Garden Wall video, and more videos on independent films, like I did one on Whiplash, I'll probably do one on Arcane again, but I might do one on Nightcrawler, or a separate one on Persona. Different, you know, more, for lack of a better term, separate media. So why not start with animated content? So that's what I did today. I'm still working on my ranking of all the Ghibli films, believe me, that's a big one. But thank you all so much for your support on my current videos. It does mean a lot to me. Or, you know, the 20 of you who watch my videos, I'm just glad I make content you enjoy. Or at least you, you put up enough with to watch. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you liked and subscribe, have a nice day, and bye!